Warning, spoilers ahead with the Buzz Battle Season 2 finale. This covers one of the most spoiler scenes in it, so I recommend watching episode 16 if you haven't already. So, the Bad Batch Season 2 finale has came. It was one of the best Bad Batch episodes, in my opinion. However, I want to focus on a specific scene from episode 16, Tech's Death. So, if you've been watching Star Wars recently, or read novels or comics, you will know Star Wars at the moment likes to do fake out deaths. And I think there is a chance that they will bring back Tech. Its survival is more unlikely than others, but it is possible. So, in the Yoda Chronicles, we meet a force sensitive Django Fett clone under designation Sith Clone 14, or as it's more commonly known, Czech 14. Czech has defeated both Yoda and Mindu in the same battle with only the force. So, if Czech is introduced in the Bad Batch Season 3, I'd give the idea of Czech infiltrating the base for a mission for Yoda, something, something Czech was known to do in very dangerous or important missions, or even missions only he can do. It's possible Yoda sent him there to get an insight into what the Empire is doing, so when Luke or Leia ends up getting trained, they know what, what to teach them to combat the Empire's, well, plans on what they're trying to do, or something like that. That, or Jack was caught on that planet and escaped the base. So, I'll give an idea on Tech's revival scene, given we see his goggles smashed, he likely hit the ground, so I'll put it into something like that. Credits start to roll for the Season 3 opening. After a number of them, we cut to a post-credit scene. We see an incredibly injured body of Tech with the smashed goggles. Important. The train carriage smashed around him with the same mist as when he fell. We cut to a grassy patch with the mist in the distance as some black boots appear with brown trousers. As we follow the feet before locking into the previous shot and seeing the pair of legs approach Tech. We get a wide shot seeing a person kneel down. A blue jumper with a white brown sleeve, a black glove and a glove, a beige scarf and hood with a belt. We get a Front shots right behind Tech's head, seeing the person's legs, and yeah, I should have said kneel down you actually, <laughs> uh, as he kneels. We cut to behind the man's voice as the shot moves to the left, revealing the transparent blue left arm as the iconic charging sound starts and the arm starts to glow with force energy. Cut to black, and we continue with the credits. If Tech does survive, I do think Jack could be the one to save him. Given the amount of injuries he has, and the dark side force users are incapable of force healing. Now before you go saying Jack is a Sith clone, he is more of a grey Jedi, he's more of in the middle of the force. After Geonosis, he can't he just basically abandoned the Sith and became a um, and became a just your general force user, he's in the middle, so this does seem likely for him to do. And dark side forces users are incapable of force healing. And it's unlikely an Inquisitor, let alone Vader or Palpatine, would try to revive him, given they would die since they would have to bring Tech back to life. And that kills the user, as seen in Rise of Skywalker, when Kylo Ren healed Rey. As much, I uh, know people will not like that comparison, but it's canon, so. <laughs> now, it's implied in the Yoda Chronicles that Jek's arm is the source of most of his power, so he could fill the incredibly injured Tech with enough force energy to revive him. Now before you say oh, I'm crazy, Jack 14 is canon. He was canon in the book, he was canonised I mean in the book Droidography, in which he takes the role he took in the Freemaker Adventures. This could show we got this could show how we got to Zoe in the finale, with Jack setting flight and we seem setting calls for Zoe. This could also canonise a realistic version of the Yoda Chronicles' first episode, The Phantom Clone, Menace of the Sith, Attack of the Jedi and Escape from the Jedi Temple. We also mentioned the broken goggles on Tech, as Dr. Hemlock, I'm pretty sure that's what his name is, does mention that, that that it was all he could salvage, of course, he could be lying, but if he isn't, this could be why there was no body, because Tech was revived by Jack, and the broken goggles were left there to imply that Tech had died. 
to anyone that has found the wreckage. So do you think this could happen? I do think Jack could also fit in the show. Given he's kind of a mutation clone like the Bad Batch with with his being force sensitivity, so I do think he could work well in the show. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If Tech does survive, do you think Jack could be the one to revive him? I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye.